Next, we're going to look at how to place shapes. But before we do that, I want to put these three portraits in the right spot. I checked my notes, and this these guys should be three big boxes and three little boxes over. So that's one more box over. And then this first one is four boxes down from the top. And then each of the others is one box below the previous one. Oops. All right, so now these guys are all set. So now we're going to put a title on the page. And I'm going to put a box behind the title. So to place a shape, click on the gray square at the top. It always is gray to start. And we're going to make a band that runs across the bottom of this photo. And I know that I want it to be five squares tall, five little squares. And so we're going to use a technique that is we used a lot in the 2016 book, which is pulling a color from the photo. So if we look at this picture, there's a lot of different candidates. There's this bright orange here. There's this purple. Here's a different purple. There's this, this kind of rose color from the shirt. There's the maroon from the pillars. There's jeans and blue shirts and all different places that you can find color inspiration. So you can choose whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the same as what I choose. Actually, I'd prefer if you choose something different just to try it out. And what I, what I like to do is I bring this color square up to whatever it is I want to pull the color from, and then I change the color until it matches. So I'm going to use this purple of the backpack here. I'm going to pull it up to that so I can see the, the contrast. And I'm going to go over to the Format tab and choose the Fill. So these are all the different colors you can choose. And so I know I want to bring up purple. That looks pretty good. So you can kind of play around until you get a purple that you like. And this is the one I used last time, this intense electric purple, so I'll use that. But definitely play with it until you find a color that you like. Okay, and this is where I'm going to end up putting the title. So I'm going to bring this rectangle over. Almost to the end, but not quite. Right to this end of this box here. And then I'm going to make it semi-transparent. I'm going to set the transparency. And as you drag the slider, it becomes more and more see-through. I have mine set to 37. <clears throat> now I'm also going to place a triangle right here. If we look back at this, you can see that I have a bar that then goes into a triangle. So I'm going to go up to this, click on the drop-down, choose a triangle. Bring this guy over here. Oops. Control Z. Oh no. Right over here. Rotate it around 90 degrees. Is making it take up the rest of the space. And then I'm going to have it be the same color. Now I click on the fill down, on the pull down for fill. The color I just chose is right here now, so that's nice. I don't have to find it again. And again, I'm going to have it transparency at 37. Okay. This color that I pulled out from the bag, I'm also going to put in two other places on the page. One is a, a square that I'm going to use to set off the beginning of my text and also I'm going to put a line down the side so this square and this line so to put the square again drop down box my and it's three by four boxes down and it's three by three
and the color is this same color I pulled from the picture. And then finally I have a line. Same drop down, lines at the bottom. It always shows up near the top, it can be hard to see. And I want it to be one box away from my photos. And end at the same point on top. And the color, again, is the same color I pulled from the picture. Alright, so that's how you play shapes.